Welcome back to our fourth and final episode for PCOS Awareness Month, our sister chats. Today, as the right honorable Jada Pinkett Smith said, I am bringing myself to the red table. I'm gonna share a little bit more about my story and my journey with PCOS and also offer some advice at the end. I was officially diagnosed with PCOS at 18, but my symptoms started much earlier than that. As soon as I started seeing my period, actually, I was irregular. So that had always been happening to me. I didn't really pay much attention to it, you know. And when I was 18 and diagnosed, it wasn't until I was around 24 to 25 that I really understood that it wasn't just the irregular periods that PCOS had that was affecting my body. I didn't know that the mood swings that sometimes I felt like I couldn't control were because of PCOS. I didn't know that, you know, the extra hair on my body was something that was because of PCOS and not just, you know, because I had maybe some coolie somewhere down in the in the bloodline. I didn't know that the things that were happening in terms of my weight and my body were because of PCOS. And when I started to learn those things was when I was on the journey to become pregnant and I'll do a separate video on pregnancy. But this journey has taught me so much about myself. It has taught me so much about being resilient, being strong. It has taught me that I am stronger than a lot of people because I do so much more with what feels, what has felt to me for years like a disadvantage. The biggest struggle that I had with PCOS was my weight and my body. Not because I was unhealthy because of my weight, but because of how I felt about my body. You know, for years I let people define how I felt about my body and how I felt about myself. And because of that, I quite literally hated my body. I didn't like how I fit in clothes. I didn't like how I looked in general. And I struggled with my body for a really long time. And it wasn't honestly until last year where I sat and I took a hard look at myself and I had to decide that I need to love this body. At the end of the day, outside of PCOS, this body has brought me through so much. The sickest I've ever been is with gastro. That was like the peak of an illness for me. So this body has kept me healthy. This body brought forward a child, a healthy child. This, this body went through a C-section. This body healed to the point from a C-section where I was up and down in three days. Like it took me no time to bounce back. This body has done miraculous things. This body has been there for me, even when I didn't like it, even when I resented it, even when I cursed it. This body stood firm for me. This body woke up every single morning and hit the ground running. It did what it needed to do. It's been so strong and so, so loving to me when I haven't been giving it the love that it, des it deserved. And so last year, I just decided to be grateful. You know, I just decided to be grateful that I am in the body that I'm in. You know, if I've if i think about it logically if i have not liked my body since i was smaller than this how can i say that if i finally get to this goal weight that i'm gonna be in love with myself it doesn't happen so i encourage you if you have pcos and you're struggling with your weight and your body and you know just how you look in general the not just your weight you know maybe the extra hair anything at all just understand that this is the body that you've been given and there's so much more to be grateful for. There's so much more going on with your body than there is not going on with your body. There is so many things that I can find to be grateful for on a daily basis and very few things that I can find that I shouldn't give thanks for, you know? So at the end of the day, PCOS has been a blessing to me. For whatever reason, it has kept my body in the state that it is and I'm grateful and I'm so happy for it. Now people can't tell me nothing. I wear anything I feel like wearing. I do anything I feel like doing. And my goal is never to lose weight. My goal is just to become healthier and healthier and healthier. And love my body more and more. And what I want to leave you guys with. If you don't have PCOS. You know 1 in 10 women has PCOS. So chances are you do know somebody that does have it. If you don't have it. 
or you know you know somebody that has it but you you're you know you don't personally have any kind of affiliation with it my only thing that i would say to you is just to be mindful be mindful of the way that you talk to persons be mindful of the questions that you ask about children and fertility and families those questions can be very hard for people with pcos or who are dealing with infertility in general and it's really honestly it's really not even a relevant question so <laughs> lay off those questions but for my ladies with pcos my advice is give yourself the love that you deserve PCOS is something that's happening to you, but it does not define you. It's not who you are. You are strong because of PCOS. You are strong because of who you are. And PCOS is just a very small portion of that. On top of that, to echo what the ladies have said in previous videos, you know, in the series, I just want you guys to know that you can supplement yourself. You can, whether you go the medical route and take metformin and birth control, that's up to you whether you decide to do supplements and herbs you know that's up to you I've tried both ways but what I can tell you is that nothing is going to happen to your body significantly unless you change your diet changing your diet is the key to solving your problems with, with PCOS whether it is infertility weight anything that you take a look at solving the diet portion is really really important you cannot supplement your way out of a bad diet so that's what i want to leave you guys with it is the end of pcos awareness month i am so happy that i get to share my platform with you guys i'm so happy that you guys have tuned in for four whole episodes and i love you guys so much and i hope that you can find it within yourself to love you too